good morning from New York. Even just saying that is so weird. This is the current view from our bedroom this morning. We got here yesterday, but we didn't really get, I don't know, we literally just came to the room and like kind of crashed because we had to be up at 3.30. Actually, no, 3 a.m. for our flight from LA. So we didn't really get up to a lot last night. This is the hotel that we're staying at. We're staying at the public hotel in Soho. It's really, really cute. It's a little bit random. Like there's no lobby. I don't really know how to explain it. It's very like self-sufficient, which is cool. And this is the view from our room. You look out onto the garden and then there's city over there. It's really cute. This is my outfit of the morning. I'm just wearing a black hoodie, the black little romper that I was wearing in LA a lot, my sneakers, and we're heading off to go get coffee and food because I realized this like literally just before when I woke up I was like I'm so hungry and then I realized that we didn't really eat a lot yesterday so I really need like a massive breakfast burger also disregard the chaos behind us New York hotels are very very small so there's like a lot there's a lot going on we have literally 23rd samples like everywhere my suitcase is everywhere it's just a whole situation so mini room tour it's quite small but it is very cute so we've got obviously the twin beds here we have this little area which my suitcases have kind of taken over. We've got suitcases, suitcase, suitcase, a little like seating area with honestly stuff in it, food and snacks from when we were catching the flight yesterday. And then over here we have a little bathroom situation. We've got more samples and then through there there's like a bathroom in that area. But it is quite small. It's very cute. Um, and I would recommend this hotel. It is really nice. I've also been very pleasantly surprised by the temperature in New York. I had thought it would be like freezing, but it's actually not that bad. Like yesterday, I, w I went out in this like little mini silk slip dress and it was cold because we went to this like top floor um, rooftop bar and it was cold up there. But when I was like down in the street waiting for an Uber, it was so fine. So I don't even know if I'm going to need this jumper because... Right now the sun is shining and I'm so hot. And I'm ready to go get an extra large coffee. I actually went to Starbucks as well at the airport yesterday and I got a, what was it? It was like an iced vanilla oat milk something. I don't even know. It was like on the menu, like on the actual menu and it was the best thing I've ever had. So I'm going to see if I can try and find a really another good coffee like that because Starbucks in Australia honestly isn't that good. Okay, last update before we actually do leave. I wanted to tell you guys that we got Shake Shack yesterday. I was so excited about this. I've literally been saying to Sarah this whole trip non-stop talking about Shake Shack and when we got to the hotel yesterday because we had literally not had any food all day, it was what we ordered for dinner and it fulfilled all of my hopes and dreams and I was so excited to have it. The cheesy fries, incredible. Guys, we've come to La Cologne. I've been excited to try this as well. It's actually just around the corner from the public hotel and I've seen this on so many people's like vlogs and YouTube channels and I've been dying to come and try it. And this is the menu. I've heard people speak about the O Black and Tan. I don't know which one to get. Sarah and I got the iced draft latte from La Cologne and let me just say this is literally like the best iced latte we've ever had. It tastes like a vanilla thick shake but it's literally just oat milk and it's coffee. I don't know what they're putting in this, but I don't know, I want it every morning. That is like the best coffee. Seriously, if you guys come to New York or if, I think it's in all of America, I don't know, but this is literally incredible. We're on the hunt for breakfast this morning. I think, oh, it's green, we can go. Jack's wife, Frida in Soho. It's like 200 meters away up here. Look at how pretty Soho is. Sarah and I were just saying before, like we are literally moving here one day. Look at this place. I love it. Imagine this just being your backyard every morning. Made it to Jack's wife, Frida. We got our table sitting outside. If anything, I feel like I'm actually really hot from just walking. Like, it's not cold. I know it kind of looks like I'm drugged up right now, but I've got like nothing on my legs. Like, I feel like I'm naked from the waist down. Breakfast has arrived. We both got the same thing. Sourdough toast. We don't know what this green thing is. I'm assuming it's pesto, but it doesn't even say pesto on the. Yeah, it's just but I don't know if that's what it is. Poached eggs, roasted tomatoes, and halloumi. We're back in the room. So we're trying to take a Polaroid of our styling setup. We just took out all of the shoes that we're going to be shooting with while we're here and all of the different 
bags that we're shooting with. This is honestly like my bag collection dream. Um, and also shoe. Did it work? <laughs> Maybe I ran out of film. I don't oh no. I've still got some from Elias May. There's actually a lot from Elias May, Tony Bianco, Dior, and then some boots down here. Too. I just got out of the shower and i just got out of the shower i washed my hair and i'm gonna start to get ready soon ish i'm just feeling like a little bit i don't know maybe it was like the halloumi or something i'm not too sure but we went for breakfast and then sarah and i both got the same thing and we're both feeling like a little bit like ill <laughs> um but anyways i'm feeling better after i showered and we're shooting our trans seasonal collection today in soho which is the next drop that we're launching and it's actually coming in like the next month so if you guys like any of the pieces that you see because i'm going to be showing them all to you guys when i'm shooting because it is launching so soon so you will definitely see all of the outfits um but that collection called the soho collection so obviously we're shooting on the streets of soho today um and i'm just really really excited for it you guys will see from the collection pieces that we took a lot of inspiration from the soho streets and buildings and the colors of the buildings i'm very excited we've been working on this collection for such a long time now in fact all three of the collections that we're shooting here we've been working on for so so long and i'm just so excited to launch them um so that's the plan today shooting transseasonal shooting soho um, and then we've got no for dinner tonight, but anyways, you guys are going to see all of that. I also just wanted to quickly mention that today's video is sponsored by Casetify. You guys already know that I love Casetify. All of my phone cases are from Casetify, and I have this black one on my phone today. It has my name in this, like, faux leather. And I also packed this other one here that has my MW. This one has my initials on it. This is a custom one. This is also a custom case. And you'll see from some of the outfits that I shoot today, it has like a very similar color to this one. That's why I brought this so I can like match my outfits. So just a little bit about Casetify if you are unfamiliar with the brand, but basically they make really high quality phone cases that really do protect your phones. They have something in them called EcoShock technology, which is actually military grade protection. These cases can actually be dropped from up to 11.5 feet and they will not crack your phone. So I will actually show you. I'll drop my phone right now off the bed. My phone is literally still brand new so it's definitely great for your phone and it saves you a lot of money in the long run cases are also super slim and very sleek so they're not big and bulky or uncomfortable to carry all of my cases fit in my handbags and in my pocket the cases also are obviously customizable so i have added my initials on them but there's also a lot of other options to choose from with all different featured artists and lastly the new iphone 14 cases from case to fight are made with 65 percent recycled and plant-based material they're also partially made from from upcycled phone cases as part of the Recasetify program. So whether you're upgrading your iPhone or not, you can head to, to casetify.com for their latest iPhone 14 case series or head to casetify.com forward slash Madison to get 15% off your order. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself ready for the day. I have to obviously blow dry my hair, do some glam, get dressed, and then we're going to head out to Soho to shoot the new 23rd collections. Okay guys, we're leaving the hotel. I'm dressed in another set that is launching very soon. It's called the Nobu set. I'll show you when we get to our shoot location. I'll get Sarah to take a video of me and Sarah's also wearing some 23rd cargos. Our first cargo pant. Look how cool this is. Stop. I'm going to show them when we get there because they need the background. This is a little sneak peek of the top. <laughs> I cannot wait to launch these pants like you have no idea they are so nice and so soft and this is the bag that I am shooting the outfit with it's very oversized I'm really into it hi vlog we're just in the middle of shooting this outfit sorry that my hair is a little bit chaotic right now but we're currently in Soho we're on not gatekeeping the location we're on 63 Green Street and we've been here shooting for like an hour and it's caused quite the ruckus. I think we've provided everyone with all the entertainment this afternoon. Um, but it's actually also really cool. Like there's been so many other girls shooting content here and it's just like, everyone like looks, but no one really cares. Like no one's like rude or anything, which I think is really nice. Um, like there's literally a girl right here taking a video and it's just like, it's really cool. Anyways, I like it when everyone's just like, lets everyone do their own thing. But I'll show you guys the street that we're shooting on. 
So this is the street. It's really pretty in Soho. We're just shooting in. We're just shooting in front of this building. I'm currently sitting down on the steps. We're just taking some reels and I'm gonna show you guys Sarah's outfit right now. Look how cool Sarah looks. Turn around, like go side on. Look how cool Sarah looks. This is 23rd and Madison launching soon. This was actually all inspired by Soho. So we came to shoot here. It's obviously called the Soho Collection. And all of these colors are inspired by all of the buildings in Soho. You guys will see in the collection, there was like, there's a really nice, we drove past it before, but there's a pastel blue building next to a cream building here. And that's what the whole collection is inspired by. Hi guys, this is my little corner where we're Oh my god, wait, before I put you guys away and shoot Sarah's outfit, we were just taking photos here before and this man came up to us and he was like, hey, I'm filming, did he say TikTok? He said, hey, can I ask you where your outfits are from? Yeah, he's like, hey, can I ask where your outfits are from? And Sarah and I like looked at each other, we're like, yes, you can. <laughs> um, and he's like, I, I'm doing this thing where I'm asking everyone, I'm asking people in New York like where all their outfits are from. So I think he must be a TikToker. Anyways, he ended up recording us and we were both obviously saying we were like, both of us are wearing 23rd and he was like, what's it inspired by? And we were like, New York. It was just really cute. And then he gave us $2 American. This is our first American cash that we've had. Yeah. So shout out to him. I have no idea who he is. If you guys know who someone is in New York is a TikToker and he asked everyone where their outfits are from, let us know. He had a full camera and everything. Yeah, send us the link. Send us the link. If you see us on TikTok, <laughs> Send us a link. We were so caught off guard. It was actually so embarrassing. Um, but it was funny. It was actually really, and he was so sweet too. He was sweet. He was really sweet. Yeah. He gave us American money. So, hey. We're in for a Whole Foods run. My first ever Whole Foods experience. Actually, you know what? I probably have gone at some point, but I can't really remember if I have. Um, we just got changed. We finished up shooting this afternoon. Oh God. There's literally a Whole Foods just around the corner of the hotel, the public hotel, which is incredible. There's a La Colombe here and there's a Whole Foods. I'm living my best life, guys. This is current vibes, current mood. I also need to go to a pharmacy because I have run out of tampons. Um, so that's up on the agenda as well. Sarah needs dry shampoo. What's the other thing? There's one more thing. Medication. Oh, I need some medication because cough. I still have a bad cough and it's really not going away. And it's been like two or so weeks now. Um, so I need something to fix that. And I think that's basically everything. Also, how weird in New York, everyone just puts their trash out on the street like this. It's, it's like, so weird. I know. And it gets collected. Mm. But yeah, pump it vibes. We have to head back to the hotel in a little bit because we have a booking tonight at 8 p.m. at Nobu, which I'm so excited about. Nobu, New York. I actually did go here last time I was in NYC and it was incredible. Sarah, have you ever been to Nobu? No. First time no. experience for Sarah. Yeah, I'm so excited. Um, the what did I get that was so good? If you guys ever go to Nobu, you have to get. I think it was like the prawn. I don't know. I need to go back through my stories because I took a story of it when I went last in Sydney with Caitlin and Bianca. And it was like this prawn. I don't know, but it was amazing. I'll let you guys know what it is. I'll see it on the menu. And it's literally like the best thing I've ever had. We made it to Whole Foods. I just need like a little something before dinner because we only had that breakfast this morning. We've been out shooting. We could get like some fresh fruit. Look at this fruit. Wow. Dude, look at this fruit salad. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my God, so <gasps> okay, Australia, if you're, I don't know, someone's watching this <laughs> that's in charge at Australia. Step up a game. Seriously, look at this. <laughs> Should we just get some fruit? That could be good for us. Oh my God, it looks really good. What about, is there like a salad maybe? I think they're over there. Oh, oh right, okay. Oh, is that salad? 
This is incredible. I'm living my best life. I'm getting pineapple with coconut chunks. This is like, I, I just can't. I'm lost. I'm actually at a loss for words. We located the salads. I'm getting one of these. So we're like two and a half hours before dinner and we need to have some lunch. So food, snacks are secured. What are you going to get? I'm going to get the same because same. all of the other dresses. We're literally twins. Me. Yeah, Sarah and I are <laughs> both like <laughs> lactose intolerant, but we still eat cheese. We're at Nobu, everyone, and we just ordered the crispy rice. I forgot to get with the avocado as well. I meant you meant to get it with avocado, but I forgot. But we got the spicy tuna. But basically, you dip this crispy rice into the sauce and then put the tuna on top, and it was like the best thing ever when I was at the Nobu in Sydney. It was honestly like 10 out of 10. Um, I've also discovered that I think I have miles. Thank you. I think we have mild food poisoning, guys, because something is going on. TMI, but anyways, um, we had the nice dinner at Nobu. We didn't really eat a lot. Neither of us were hungry. We got salads this afternoon. Um, but anyways, it's been really nice to be here. And like, sat the, um, we're sat near the chef, and, like watching them cook all the sushi. It's been so nice. This is our view. Day two outfit everyone, we're up, well we've actually been up bright and early for a while now, we got up at 7 and we've just been doing some work from the room, we went and got another La Colombe coffee and we're about to head off to Soho to shoot this look which you guys already saw yesterday on Sarah but I'm shooting it this morning. Um, this is the Chelsea bra top and the Chelsea cargo, these are our first ever cargo pants that we've done for 23rd and I think I mentioned it yesterday but they're inspired by the buildings in Soho pastel yellow cream blue buildings in Soho which is where we're gonna go shoot today we're just paired it with this white Bottega pair of white heels and then um, some silver earrings as well we're shooting the Hudson skirt today as well which is the mini in our Soho collection that is the plan today it's another stunning day in NYC my battery's flashing at me so I have to go put it on charge in a second um, but yeah, we're basically just working and shooting content all day today So I will put my camera on charge and leave it here this morning while we go out and shoot But I will bring you guys along because we're going to somewhere very exciting for lunch today um, I can't wait to take Sarah there because my parents, my dad and my brother are obsessed with this place We're back home from shooting content and we just went to Whole Foods to get some snacks And I wanted to give you guys a Whole Foods haul So first thing is... We got these chips for the spicy guac. Guys, look at how good the food is there. Like, I actually am bl so blown away. This is the spicy guac. And then we got two more salads. I don't really know what this one was, but there was not a lot of veggie options, though, for salads. But this one looks good. And then there's, like, a kind of like a Mediterranean one. And then I also got some sushi because that's going to be my lunch today. And then we just got like another pasta meal because we haven't really been eating a lot, to be honest, because every time we get to the uh, dinner reservation, we're just both so tired and exhausted that we don't actually eat enough. So that was that was the Whole Foods haul. And now, and now, where do I, where do I put you? <laughs> oh, also we got some fresh fruit. I got pineapple and coconut once again because that was so good yesterday we're heading off to Katz's deli now which is just down the road from the hotel and we're gonna get sandwiches well i probably won't get one but sarah's gonna get a sandwich i'm gonna see if there's any vegetarian options mm. there might be hopefully Katz's deli we made it everyone it's so busy inside. We just got back from Katz's Deli. This is Sarah. She got the pastrami on rye. This was recommended from my dad and my brother, and I'm going to send a photo to them because they were so sad. Like, dad was actually like, send me some to Australia. It comes with pickles and cucumbers. I'm confused about the cucumber. Like, that's just really random, but I'm here for the pickles. And then I got a tuna sandwich. 
Tuna. Tuna. Do you want tuna? <laughs> I literally was like, hey, do you have anything without meat? And he like looked at me so funny. <laughs> Come out for dinner tonight. I never had it. Hi guys. I want to know what the chicken looks like, but I can't find it. I think they've just updated their menu. It looks really different. Yeah. Menu. That's what I thought. I haven't vlogged at all today. I'm the world's worst vlogger, but. We have, Sarah and I have just been working all day today, so you haven't missed out on anything. And I'm sorry if you can't even hear what I'm saying. But we have just come down to the hotel restaurant for dinner. Because you get friends. It's called Popular Hotel. And we're in another 23rd design to know, which is coming. It's coming soon. It's actually, this is from our second collection launching, which is coming later in the year. Um, but anyways, we're out for dinner. I'm excited, I'm so hungry. We've been literally like stuck in the room working all day today. Let's do the first one. Can we get two of those? Yeah. Yes, please. We always fill in your own little thing, but I don't want to go to jail. I told you. I want to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Let me put on it, okay, ladies? Yes. And I come back with the food. The food is so interesting. It's, it's very different. I've never seen any like um, menu like this before, which is cool. We were meant to go to somewhere else for dinner tonight, but it was torrential rain, and we literally walked outside and we're like, that's not happening. <laughs> so I've just come to the rest restaurant at the hotel. But it's beautiful. I'll show you guys the view. This is our stunning table. This is my stunning date tonight. <laughs> Fried rice and noodles, shrimp for my stunning bag with me tonight. It's so cute. And I'm wearing these little new heels. And I'll show you guys a full OOTD later. I've just like literally had no time today. I'm so sorry. I'm the world's worst vlogger. Hi, vlog. I have not checked in all day because we have been shooting content all day today for 23rd. We had our first model shoot today, this morning, um, and it went so, so well. We did post a few sneak peeks on 23rd's account and also our personal accounts. We weren't supposed to, but we just got really excited and we did it anyway. <laughs> um, but it went really, really well. So if you guys want to go see all of the photos, then head on over to the 23rd page because we will start to post more content but yeah Sarah and I are both so tired. so tired like we went out this morning we've been up since 6 a.m went out shot all day came home kind of had like a little bit of a lunch break regrouped and then we went out again this afternoon to shoot more content for myself like personal content for my feed and now we're back in the room and we're getting ready to go out Grace is here and we're all meeting up for dinner tonight she came over to our room just before to say hello um, but yeah, it's gonna be a really fun night tonight and I'm really excited even though I'm so tired I have this like running joke that I've had like four hours sleep since we actually left Australia, which I think is like quite accurate to be honest It's like pretty close to the truth because we have just been going non-stop um, But yeah, I'm really proud of us. We did really well today Honestly nailed it. Caitlin texted me before and was like just had like a little proud friend moment because she was saying that like this has been my dream for such a long time like having a shoot in New York and like we just did it today it was just it was really weird it was just like such a surreal moment and like all of the new pieces in all of the upcoming collections are so good I don't know it's just it was a very happy moment and I'm just like really proud so very good day today I feel very very happy I'm just so exhausted I think I need an espresso martini, to be honest. Um, but anyways, I'm getting ready, obviously. I'm not wearing this. I'm currently wearing trackies and this 23rd bralette. Hint, hint, lol. Um, and I am wearing another 23rd outfit out tonight, which you will probably see sneak peeks on my Instagram as well. So if you're not following me, make sure you go follow me. Um, but I think... I'm going to, like, put this in for a second. Can I, like, balance you? No. I was just going to say that I think I'm actually going to wrap this, I think I'm actually going to wrap this vlog up here, part one, New York, because I'm going to start another one tomorrow for our last few days in NYC, just because I think this one will go for way, way too long if I keep it going. Stay tuned for that. I, it's Friday night tonight. We have the weekend kind of off, which is nice. Tomorrow's a really chill day. We're going out tomorrow night. Anyways, you guys will see it in the next vlog, but it's more of a relaxing weekend then the first couple of days here were chaos and then we have our final shoot on monday my makeup has been on since 6 a.m 
ignore that I just tried to fix it but I'm like looking at it and it looks it's seen better days basically but anyways love you all so much thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video Bye.